U.S. Opens have always been famous for what do you do to get out of the rough. That's right. Uh, not much rough at Pinehurst no. for this U.S. Open. Now, there's worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if you hit Absolutely. it into the worse, what do you do? Well, you're going to have a tough time playing out of some of that scraggly, sandy, bushy stuff this Wire week. Wire grass. Wire grass. Yeah, Absolutely. Not love grass because there ain't no love involved no. here. No. <laughs> not if you hit your ball in there. Well, you know, I think of this year's U.S. Open, and of course, like a lot of people, 1999 comes to mind. You know, I, I loved watching Payne Stewart play. I followed him around at the 93 Ryder Cup a lot. And like many people, it broke my heart when they had that plane accident. Oh, but yeah. when I think about smooth swings and balance yeah. and what it takes to be a solid ball striker, I think of pain because I think of the tempo and more than anything, the balance and control he used to have in his body, the athleticism. So one of the things we'd like to talk about with everybody at home today is a way that you can instill a little bit more balance and control in your swing, some things that you can do to help yourself without a golf club in your hand. Okay. Now, when we talk about balance and smoothness, we also need to keep in mind that everybody has a different tempo with which they swing. So we're not looking for everybody to swing at the same pace. More than anything, we want them to have control of their own swing. You know, you look at Nick Price, he was always quick. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy Zeller was a little slower. Bob Murphy used to go to the top and pause. They all had really good control. So once again, like I said, we need to work on our balance. So let's talk about your body a little bit. Our body has three balance receptors, okay, that help us maintain our balance. Number one is our eyes. Number two is the fluid and all in our ears, and that's why a lot of people, when they get an ear infection, they have trouble with their balance and dexterity because okay. that's one of the balance centers of the body. In there. Right. And the third is our neuromuscular system, which is kind of our athleticism barometer. Okay. And that's the one we really need to work on for golf, okay? So, one of the things I'd like you to do at home, as simple as this is, is I'd like you to do some one leg standing. In other words, I'd like you to just get yourself straight up and down yep. and just lift one leg up so it's about hip high, okay? okay? And see if you can hold that for 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And that's a good place to start to work on your balance. It's gonna tighten up your core and you do that with both legs, okay? Now, to take it another step, what you do is you take it now and close your eyes and see if you can do it when your eyes are closed. Because that, that really different. tests, yeah, <laughs> that really yeah. tests your athleticism right there. <laughs> and a good way to do it is if you're at home, you know, just do it against the wall. Hold the wall here as I'm kind of using Bob's shoulder, and just kind of slowly close your eyes on and off. Because, no, like I, I said, it be triggers your neuromuscular system to start to kind of reactivate and fire the athleticism wiring that you have in you, I have in you, whoever has in you to help you get a little bit better control of your body. And something like this can definitely help your golf game because you're increasing your body's ability to balance. And as we get older, I think these things are important to do in general because how many people up north do you hear about slipping and falling on the sure. ice in their hip? Sure. And that's the main reason why I lost my balance. Right. Okay, so after we get done doing that, okay. the other thing you can do at home is take a club. And what I'd like you to do, if I could just have a little bit of room here, please, Bob. I'm sure. just gonna do this. I'm gonna have you take the club. If you're right-handed, I want you to put the club head over across from your right shoulder. I want you to get set, just like you're getting ready to hit. Okay, we're gonna turn back, get that grip behind where the ball is gonna be. We went over this a few weeks ago for power. But this is what I'd like to have you do, is come through as well as you can and as firm as you can, really getting this right shoulder and feeling like that club head is really whipping around. And when you get through, I want you to have a good amount of balance at the end. I want you to really hold your finish. So if I do it sideways here, at you, I get myself good and set. We turn back, and then we come all the way through, and you can see that I'm holding my balance here. I've gotten off my back foot, over to my front foot, and when you make your real swing, like the guys and gals you see on TV, you basically see the same thing. Good balance, good body control, and that's what we used to see out of Payne Stewart. Absolutely, we did, and that, that's a, those are very good. You know what, the, the, the whole balancing thing, though, I, I think folks ought to be taking videos of themselves and then send them to us when you fall down. Well, we don't want you to fall down, but this is definitely, <laughs> like I said, a great way for you to work on your yeah. balance so that whatever you and your coach are working on can come to fruition. A Absolutely. More. Now, you hit it in the wire grass in the U.S. Open, and you can't play it find it, but maybe you can't yeah. play it. What do you do then? We're going to talk about that when we come back. Uh, I think we've all got that issue. We're going to talk about that when we come back.